You're on. Hello, this is Angela from the Perry Branch um, of the House and County Library um, Public Library System. Uh, if you've picked up your 3D origami art, these are the things that you will have. You'll have a, a drawn canvas. You'll have the little containers with paints. And I've got mine, but mine are bigger containers. And some origami paper. You will need some tape, a paper plate. I provided some paint brushes, but feel free to use your own if you've got some. And I also provided these little sticky things. Don't lose these, they're very important. So, you might also want a hair dryer as well. So, and then a glass of water. So, let's get started. Your flower can be any color that you want. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the background first. The swirls that are on here are to um, inspire. You're not, you can paint those exactly how they are, or you can um, do what I do. So I'm gonna put some of my blue and some of my white. Don't mix them together just um, quite yet, just have them side by side. I'm gonna start with the blue. My brush might be a little too stiff. So we we'll start, and we're going to color, we're going to paint over the swirls, but you'll still be able to see them a little bit through the paint. Uh, you'll be able to see the pencil marks through the paint. I'm just going to paint. If you feel that you don't have enough of the blue paint in your little pack. If you get your paintbrush wet and wet your paint, um, it'll give you a little bit more, it'll extend it. And it looks just as good as if it was straight out of the little container. So when you get around to the flowers, you're gonna wanna be careful and very slowly do the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. You hear the whining in the background, that's my puppy dog wanting some attention. Do that. My line's a little off right on this one, so I'm just gonna, instead of penciling it in, I'm gonna use the paint to fix it.
So re-wet the top part with some more blue and then you want to start to blend your white and your blue. Um, you want it to be like a messy blend because you want the white streaks to show. Let me show a little bit because now I want to try to make that swirl show. You can also just go right into the white and do it like that. You want to make it so it looks like there's movement. And if you don't like